What's good, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lotus Osco with the Never Knows Best, bringing you some more Dragon Ball Fighters rank matches. And uh, yeah, man, we're in the new office. Things are shaping up very nicely in the new crib. I finally finished basically completely unpacking. Uh, there are still some things I need to take care of. Like, obviously, there's some more I want to do with the office and people are supposed to buy furniture and everything like that uh, for a lot of places. But um, I'm out of breath because <laughs> I'm fat. I don't know. Um, what can I? Let me get my head in the game real quick. All right. Too much on my mind. Too much on my mind. Uh, not quite. Nice. Okay. So from the top. Am I dead? No. Okay. <laughs> I got hit by a five and I was like, uh, this is a double go G to team. I could die for real, but he didn't know that great of a combo. I say as I get like baited and die. Yeah, this is ranks too, so I should probably actually kind of focus a little bit and try to win the match, huh? I guess. Because if I lose these two games, I probably get demoted, huh? All right, so anyway, uh, you may or may not have noticed your boy is officially finally able to use his brand new Shure SM7B microphone that I actually purchased over a year ago at this point. He van, I mean, he backdashed and didn't get caught by 21. First. Uh, I think it did wake up 6 I'm gonna throw up. That was a terrible combo, but you know what? Take it. Gets the kill, that's all that matters. <clears throat> okay, I, I wanted to even things up. I was having a hard time focusing, talking, and playing. Uh, my mind's been all over the place ever since the new move, so you guys are gonna give me some time to adjust. But uh, yeah, so I've pretty much finished unpacking at this point, and I'm working on basically getting some, some new furniture for the place and finishing up my office. Uh, you might be able to notice in the back, well, maybe not because I'm, I'm like using a wide angle lens, which I thought I'll mention in just a moment. But um, I did move those shoe boxes, like I said, I was going to and put another shelf there to the right of me just off camera. I also have another shelf that I just built and put together. I'm surprised I didn't get hit with a JS there. Um, as well as, oh, wait, I couldn't. This has a sparking. So this is very dangerous for me. I don't know what I was thinking, but you know what? It messed up even worse. So yeah, two new shelves up. Um, there's, there's some more I want to do. Uh, those shoes that are back there on that shelf or well, along those shelves may not be there permanently. Probably not going to be there permanently. The 6H, thanks. And um, yeah, I mean, I, I said it already. But basically, everything's just a work in progress. But I think things are, are shaping up very nicely. Also, like I said, I'm on, I'm finally able to use my Shure SM7B microphone that I purchased over a year ago. But for those of you who don't know the, 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 the lore of the story, basically I bought a really nice microphone. Uh, and granted the microphone that you guys are used to me using, it's a pretty decent one. It's the Audio-Technica uh, AT2020. Somehow won that first game. Live code's still pretty, pretty OD, huh? Uh, I, I usually use the Audio-Technica AT2020 USB Plus. That's the microphone I've pretty much been using my entire like YouTube and Twitch career um, for like these last few years. Uh, but I bought this microphone a year ago, as well as I was gifted a Go XLR by the big homie Kagi Films, aka Alejandro Saab. Some of y'all may know him as Kagi, some of y'all may know him as Alejandro. He's actually a voice actor. He's in anime. He's, he's in some, some pretty dope titles. It's fucking discography as long as is it called discography? The list of shows he's in is pretty long at this point. Super proud of my boy. Big ups to my nigga Kagi. That being said, uh, why are we stuck in this loading screen? That's not good. But I digress. Beside the point, I'm all over the place, man. My mind has just been racing nonstop like this past week. I'm sorry. Um, I got like this really nice XLR cable, uh, this super dope microphone, which fun fact is the same exact microphone Michael Jackson used to record Thriller. So there you go. Uh, and this Go XLR that, that Kagi gifted me. However, as a lot of you guys know, but as some of you may not know, uh, I had a lot of electrical issues in my last house and it, it caused me to have different issues uh, varying from my internet to me being able to use my floodlight, which I don't have turned on right now, but I, you know, it's, it's back there. You could probably see that, that slight purple glow. Obviously a lot more noticeable if I cut off the ceiling light. Whoops. But, um, you know what? Maybe we'll just let it rock like this for the rest of the video. I don't know. You guys tell me what you prefer between the lights on and the lights off. And obviously, like I said, lighting is still going to be work in progress. Um, and I'm still touring on different things. I'm probably going to get another floodlight and still play around with my key lights and stuff. Um, 
but yeah why are we stuck on this loading screen um as well as this this camera angle um i'm using my 28 millimeter f18 but you guys don't care about the technical technical stuff do you maybe not anyway i'm using a wide a wide angle lens and i think i want to use this because when i'm on just my webcam i think i like the look i like you being able to see the shelves back there obviously the skate decks on the wall keyblade sitting over there you might also notice I've, i got that little shelf that i, I got and built for my nintendo switch as well as my games and it also holds all the controllers and joy cons and stuff that's pretty cool um but I, what i'm gonna try to do is like i said everything is I'm, I'm settling in but i'm going to edit this scene so that i'm more zoomed in when i'm using this lens uh, on this scene that way i can still have it like i want for my other stuff but when i'm obviously playing games I'm, I'm a bit too zoomed out right now i would say in my opinion so we're, we are going to fix it i just haven't gotten the chance to do that yet um and the connection has been lost i don't know what really happened there but we got one game and yeah, i don't know dragon ball being dragon ball roll back when dbz2 when i know a lot of people have been asking me do i have any hopes or expectations for evo i will actually be in attendance for evo leaves me some, some more stuff i want to talk about but uh evo is from the fifth to the seventh i believe i will be gone from the third until the eighth um, and I will be competing as far as what team I'm going to use. I actually don't know. I might I might be taking some of your guys suggestions and, and not to say I'm going to learn a whole new character, but you guys know the, the, the characters and teams I rotate through. I'm debating between either this this team with base Vegeta, Android 21 lab coat and trunks or playing 18 lab coat and trunks. I love lab coat. I, I, I have since she came out. I thought she was sick. I always wanted her in the game. In fact, when the game first came out, I, I remember telling people I wish that we had gotten her with the lab coat instead of Majin because I like the design more. And she's obviously super, super powerful, um, which made me not play her as much. And I did play her at Combo Breaker, but I didn't really practice with her as much as I should have. And I haven't been playing her a lot, but I'm, I'm over it now. The, the character's nerfed a lot. Um, she's still top tier. Some people might even still consider her the best in the game. I don't know. I'm not here to debate that, but I am going to start playing this character now, especially uh, from a competitive standpoint, at least in preparation for EVO and at EVO itself. Uh, pretty much, you know, Trunks is always going to be there no matter what. So it's really just between do I want to play base Vegeta, Majin 21, it or Android 18. Those are like pretty much the characters I'm considering. And I'm leaning towards Vegeta or 18. I'm not really certain. It would either be base Vegeta 21 trunks or 21 18 trunks. I'm not really sure. Android 42 is still an option as well. I still love the character. She's still really powerful. They took away a level three Oki, but that doesn't make or break the character for me. I'm just not, excuse me, really certain where I want to go with that. But yeah, uh, like I said, every, every, I, I feel like I'm repeating myself a lot, but I just, I just gotta make sure I, I say everything that was in my head. It's a little work in progress, new microphone. Um, the audio is going to improve even more once I fine tune the settings a bit more. That's part of the reason why I wasn't here yesterday is because I was, you know, doing more stuff around the house and getting all this stuff set up. And also I could do stuff like this now. You feel me? So that's fun. Um, but, uh, yeah, obviously this room is pretty big and the, uh, I have wooden floors in here as well. So I got to fill it up with more stuff in order to get the acoustic sounding a bit better. Cut out some of that reverb and some of that echo. And, um... Yeah, also, I should have just been unpaused so I could be actually in matchmaking while I'm waiting because these are Zeno ring games that they're far and few between. But um, yeah, you know what? Actually, let's 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 try it out. Let's 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 swap our team to to we've already played this before. Let's try out change this team. Let's try out 18. No, let's try out Labco 1821. See how I feel about it. Um. I'm not really certain whether I want 18 on point or mid, and if I should play barrier or disc. We're gonna go with barrier, I think. And we'll just run this. We're gonna try out this team in, in, in the next matches. Um, yeah, man, I'm, I'm settling in nicely. Hopefully, you guys are all having a good time out there. Hopefully, you guys have been well, and uh, I appreciate you all for bearing with me through uh, through this period of like sort of inconsistency. Because don't worry, once I get settled in for real, for real, it's, it's go time. I mean, it's already kind of go time, but you know what I'm saying? Like we, it's I, I can finally. Do everything I want to do exactly how I want to do it. I've got the space for it. I, I can use all my equipment properly, and I'm just really excited to really get back on the grind. That being said, I am going to be taking another brief break because I will be gone for Evo and stuff. But um, yeah, man. I mean, yeah, it's <laughs> that's enough rambling and mumbling. It's been like four minutes of no gameplay, so we'll be back when we get some actual more matches. So I'm Slim Shady, so I'm the real Shady. Yo, the other Slim Shady is just submitting. So won't the real Slim Shady please stand up? Please stand. I don't know why I'm throwing up West Side. I first of all I live on the East Coast. And I'm Slim Shady is not from West Side either, so I don't. Anyway, we're picking Slim Shady, who's running UI Goku, and I already forgot who the other two characters were. Uh, Goku Black and Trunks. Okay, fellow Trunks player. Let me see what you got. See what you're working with. I'm playing Barrier, right? Okay, yeah. I it, it hit. I had forgotten already what assist I picked because I've been debating on 
what assists I actually want to play uh, for 18 if I am running her with this team. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 6H, thanks. Trunks, you got me? Yeah, I don't know why I thought 214H was an answer to that. I had a feeling he was going to 214H, and for some reason I was like, yeah, my 214H should beat that because he'll be in the air, and you know, this is an anti air. And that just was not the right move at all. Go. Bring an Android 18, take up the UI Goku. Nice. Um. I think I want to run 18 mid if I play this team, and I'll, and I'll tell you guys why. It's because when I think about it, ah, not quite. She doesn't find them actually. Uh, I feel like obviously Lab Coat has the better neutral, and I think being able to bring in 18, which has already got some bars, I can use EX uh, 17, and ooh, um, being able to obviously special tag in off of like one of the spin moves or a beam or anything like that. Um, and just allow me to get my game plan rolling when I've already won neutral and have the momentum. Um, that's basically the thought process behind it. I got six times out of my five. Basically the thought process behind it. Oh, 18, your 2H sucks. Oh, I dropped it. Got hit by the key blast, but it's fine. Caught my jump. Uh, I guess he's gonna bring in trunks, right? Just to recover the Goku Black uh, Blue Line. I'm gonna up that. Get a spark. A trunks. Bag. Hold that. And we're level three. This is the one that gives me back the corner, right? No, it's not. Okay, I sometimes I forget which level three is which with the uh, lab coat. Hey, jump. No, sir. It's okay, we take those. I look. I know people hate lab coat, <laughs> and a lot of people's opinions are uh, kind of like root. No, I don't explain. It. Everyone's first impression of the character is pretty much ruined because she was so stupid. You know, at the start when she came out, that uh, people are always gonna hate her now. Like the, a lot of people hate her, are just always gonna hate her. Um, and I understand that. But I, I think she's so cool and so fun to play. She's, she might be my second favorite character in the game right now after Trunks. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I think she's really, really dope. I love all of her animations. I love her design. I, she's my second favorite character in the game only after Trunks. I think. Um, that being said, though, that reminds me of a tweet I saw. What was it just this morning or yesterday? I, I, I can't remember exactly. You know, my sense of time is just so screwed up. My schedule would be all over the place and haphazard. But. It was a tweet that was like, you know, sarcastic was saying there are, there are really people out there who don't pick a character just because they're top tier or something like that. Basically, I don't remember exactly how it was worded, but the point of the tweet was that, you know, there are people out there who won't play a character that they like just because the character is really good. And that's not what you should do. And I actually agree with that. You guys know that as much as I dislike certain characters and even though certain characters are strong or not, I never dislike a character necessarily because they're considered top tier. You, does, does that make sense? Like, OK, let's, let's, let's say, for example, Vegito. I have always hated Vegito, even ever since he first came out when he wasn't considered very good. Z Broly, Broly was considered trash when he first released. I always hated him. You know what I'm saying? My, my reason for hating those characters isn't because they're good. Of course, they've gotten a lot better, and now there's even more of a reason to hate them. But even though I've always strongly disliked those characters, I'm always of the mindset and of the belief that if you like a character, you should play them. Whether they're weak, strong, I hate them, someone else hates them, you should do it. And you know, that's usually the mindset I have these days, but it wasn't always the case. So I understand why some people um, will avoid playing a character that they like just because they're considered top tier. Case in point, Lab Coat 21. I like Lab Coat. My boy has mashed on Wake Up every single knockdown, huh? and I, I, I let him. Uh, I don't know why I did EX17 there. Um, I did not play Lab Coat 21 nearly as much as I wanted to just because everybody hated her so much, and I just didn't want to hear people bitching and moaning about it. That was the first time I've done that in a while, because if you think about it, a lot of the characters that I like or gravitate towards um, oftentimes end up being strong. It's not the case in every game that I play, but a lot of times, right? So, for example, um, in Guilty Gear Strive, I've been playing Ramlethal since the game came out, and well, Ramlethal is one of the most hated characters in the game because she's been so strong, which I just think she's really sick. She's a dark-skinned, super hot, big titty anime waifu, like I, with, with two swords. Like, how could I not play that character? That's my aesthetic. That's my 
know what I'm saying? That, that's my energy all day long. Like, she's everything I would want in a fighting game character. You know what I'm saying? Um, and of course, her being strong is just another thing on top of it. Or let's take, for example, Dean Abdul. First character I started playing when the game very first drop, day one, Swiftmaster. I saw his trailer before the game released. I thought he looked really, really cool. I got to playing the game. I was like, yo, this character's sick. He was the first character I did trials for. I'm in love with him now. I'm playing him, and he's considered by a lot of people the best character in the game. So it just is what it is. But I remember back in the day, like back, let's say, during the Naruto Storm days, right? When I used to play those games. Um, come on. Uh, there were characters that I wouldn't touch, even though I really liked them, just because they were considered very strong. So, for example, uh, Minato. I would never play the fourth Hokage in a lot of the Naruto games just because he was considered super, super good. And he, honestly, he was really annoying to fight. He was just one of those characters that I would almost never play. Or even back when I was like a Xenoverse player, right? Say, for example, in Xenoverse 2, I really, really like Super Saiyan 4 and Super Saiyan Gogeta. Gogeta was my favorite fusion. Um, and I just, I thought it was really cool. I thought it was really fun to play. Um, but I would very rarely ever play just because they were so strong, uh, especially Super Saiyan Gogeta. I mean, you can make the argument about which one was better between the two. I don't really know or really care at this point. Um, but they were considered really good. And I was like, I only would ever break out Gogeta. I had to wait too early. Also, that was really, really strange and decision making there. Oh, he got the. He kind of did somewhat of a new combo. Um, yeah, I would almost never play Gogeta unless I really wanted to break my foot off in somebody's ass to prove a point. Um, and even like I know that Dion ch chimed in on this and said he felt the same way, where um, he really likes Hit in Xenoverse, and Hit's obviously one of his favorite characters uh, in Dragon Ball Super and is one of his mains in this game. But he never played Hit in Xenoverse, or very rarely would, just because Hit was considered so strong and so broken. So like I feel him. Um, it's a mindset that I understand that a lot of people have, but it's one I think uh, we should all grow out of. I think, um, especially like in a fighting game, you know, why would you not want to play, you know, a character that is going to give you an edge competitively and allow you to win more games, especially with somebody that you like? You know, it's, it's different when you're just like, oh, um, well, I mean, yeah, that was really risky by me. He's in sparking. I'm always telling people not to commit to stuff like that when your opponent's in sparking, then I did it because he was always going to master vanish anyway, and I did something where I had a lot of recovery and I wouldn't be able to punish for level two saved him um react in time to save myself so no dragon rushes no command grabs when somebody's in sparking pro tip do not command grab or dragon rush somebody when they're in sparking because they will empty banish Ooh, bad beam and we clutched the game that was two two oh right that was two for us um yeah it, it, in my opinion no matter what somebody else says or thinks about a character if you like them if you enjoy them you should play them, but I, I understand why you would not want to uh, just because like I don't want to deal with the headache or the hassle of playing this character because everyone talks shit and bitches and moans, etc, etc. And I feel you because I'm one of those people who like when I just like a character, I don't shy away from, from sharing my opinion about him. Y'all know how much I hate Vegito. Y'all know how much I hate UI Goku and Z Broly. We're, we're all very well how much I hate Vegito if, if no one else. Right. But at the end of the day, I don't fault people for playing the character like you should play him if you, if you like him. You know what I mean? Um, and, it, and it just is what it is. And it's the same thing. Like I've played Bardock. The entirety of this game's lifespan he's not like one of my main characters on like the team i'm trying to figure out for what i'm going to be playing competitively like when i go to evo but he's been my main character since he released when he released he was considered by a lot of people the best character in the game i don't think he was ever actually number one but he was always top three all throughout season one since his release uh for sure um well top five i, I think you can make an argument because it was like 16 go tanks adult gohan cell kid boo there, there was a lot of crazy shit back in season one um but it's not here no that the point is um, I played him anyway because Bardock has been one of my favorite characters in Dragon Ball since I was a little kid. And I've always played him in every Dragon Ball game ever since Budokai 3. I think I, I played Bardock. I played, I played him in Budokai 3. I played him in First Limit. I played him in fucking uh, Raging Blast games, I'm pretty sure. All the Tenkaichi games. I've always been a Bardock player. So why would I not play him in DBS? Yeah, I even made Bardock in Xenoverse. <laughs> you know, Bardock, Bardock, Trunks, and Future Gohan. Which, by the way, one of these days. Hey, that no mind i knocked over my little nezuko keychain but one of these days they're gonna put future gohan in, in, in fighters i think i hope i wish i pray um and then i could finally have my whole team in figure form because i have trunks and bardock figures and i can play future gohan but those are my three mains but anyway uh that's a good enough point for me to wrap up wrap up this video and things off uh you guys can let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below hit this video with a like if you enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already so you can stay tuned for all this content up and i'm bringing you with all the being so this branch off today and remember the cap and see swing the bat. Later.